I think the future is huge and they probably don't realize now, but it's going to be awesome in the coming years. A special moment for these first 15 players as they get to learn from their rugby heroes. Rotorua Girls High was one of eight secondary school teams to be selected to take part in this year's Two Degrees Women Tership program. The program allows players to spend the day living the life of a professional athlete. Mariana Tomati is in charge of the school's rugby program and nominated the team. There were four applicants for our school and it just so happened that we were picked and things like this don't come around that often so I took the chance and, and what do you know we were, we were chosen so it's an awesome opportunity for our girls. Especially in our area we don't have access to this kind of opportunity often and I think the girls seeing some super rugby and professional female rugby players in that element might just influence them to want to become something more and make something more of themselves. Chiefs player Luca Connor grew up in the Potiki. She knows firsthand what it takes to come from a small provincial town to rise to the top of the game. I started playing rugby pretty much on the front lawn with my three brothers and loved every minute of it. Playing at primary school, I'd be the only girl in the competitions and then once I got to college, there was a girls team, so we played in there and just continued to play. Connor says the program can have a real impact on the next generation of aspiring players. For younger girls, there's more competitions now, so for these girls to come in today and experience it and see if they like it, um, if they want to for their future, it's huge. And no matter what now, pretty much throughout the country, there's women's rugby teams or secondary school teams that they can go play in. And, if they want to continue to grow, they can do that now with the likes of Super Rugby building up towards um, New Zealand Black Friends. Connor was impressed with the skills and attitude displayed by the girls. I think it's been an awesome vibes. Uh, so the girls all smiling, learning different things. So first time they've probably actually sat down and thought what I want to be in life and what's my goals and to hear a few girls saying that they want to go down the path of being a professional rugby player is really exciting. Black University. Black. Millie Simpkins is one of the co-captains of Rotorua Girls High Team. She says a chance to train alongside professional rugby players really inspired her. Just show that there is a platform for us to uh, play rugby in the future and just taking every opportunity there is. The other co-captain, Tawa Ashby, says there were plenty of lessons learned off the field. I think one of the main things that I'll take away from this would be some leadership skills, like just watching some of the Chiefs women, how they take the groups and explain to us. And while it was just one day, the impact may be far reaching. Oh, today was awesome. Today was so awesome for, for our girls. The thing that hit me in the heart the most was when I got here, uh, just seeing the environment that our girls could reach and the potential that they had and just meeting their idols and that kind of thing was just mind-blowing for me. It was quite emotional actually. Mead Norton, Local Focus.